So um, one of the things that I found with building communities online is that um, there's a lot of people focused on just trying to get traffic and link building and doing all these things to get the word out about their site, but are you really focused on building a community of people who are following you consistently? That's where you're really going to drive in the information. That's where you're going to really drive your blog ahead of the competition is when you start building this community. And there's several different key players you need to get building into your community that so many people are missing out on. Um, so I've been doing a lot of work on community building myself. In uh, fact, got into a discussion with it with Donna Merrill and uh, Adrian Smith yesterday over on Facebook. Um, and there's really some key elements. One, you want to get other bloggers in your community because these are going to be people that are going to help get the word out. These are people that are going to help share your information. This is one of the things I've been working on with uh, the Embracing Your Life Today program that I've talked about previ previously, which I've got another case study uh, episode coming up on that one. Um, I'm, I haven't forgotten the case study, it's just I've been working on other things and I'm actually now making a lot of progress on that site here in the last few days. I've um, doubled, more than doubled the post count. Um, I've got, I'm doing my 10th post today, which before I had like three or four posts on there. So, um, but one of the things I'm focused on, especially right now, early on in the early stages, is just building a community of followers. And there's several key elements that you've got to do to build that community. Um, one, you need to get out there in social media. That's where a lot of people that are going to be in your community are. You need to find who the bloggers are uh, in your niche. Get some bloggers that are kind of on the outskirts of your niche as well. Uh, for example, I'm sitting here looking at it, you know, personal development is so easy just because there's so many areas of personal development, there's so many different you know, sub-niches and there's so many different offshoots. Um, you know, I can talk to business stuff because a lot of business pe people are heavily involved in personal development. You know, there's a lot of relationships, there's a lot of health-related people. So. Finding people within personal development is really easy. If you're in some of these other niche markets, it's not quite so easy to build that community of followers. But then you also, in order to build that community, one of the first things you have to do is really identify, one, exactly what are you talking about? What are you going to do? Uh, for example, I've kind of divided on, decided on this focus of helping people with self-awareness and spiritual awareness. So I'm going to be focusing on a lot on enlightenment and personal identity and finding that awareness of self. And this is something that I find important in business, in relationships, in every area of life. You know, your sense of who you are and your place in the world is a crucial part of being successful in any area of your life. And it's something that so many people struggle with. So that's kind of the area I'm focused on with embracing your life space. So now I'm working on building this community. And so what I've been doing is I've been going out to social media. I've been trying to just get the word out, sharing ideas, and talking to people, um, leveraging email lists I have in various niche markets uh, to drive traffic and get people that might be interested in what I'm saying there onto that site. Now here's the thing. When you get people onto your site, you need to focus your efforts to build your community. Um, I've got a few too many options, honestly, right now. It's one of the things I'm really wor working on is trying to build things up, but I'm also trying to focus things in and hone in on, you know, really where do I want to build my community. Um, so the community is just those people you want to get coming back time and time again. So I'm working on building several things. I'm working on building community via Google+. I'm working on building community via Facebook. I've got a fan page up. I've got a link to the fan page in my sidebar with uh, where people can you know like my page right there from my blog. I've got uh, my email opt-ins, and that's one of the things I'm actually working on right now. I've got the opt-in forms online, and I still don't even have the opt-in book online yet. Um, it's one of the things that's kind of driving me crazy right now. I'm trying to get it finished up so I can get that uploaded and put online. I've actually uh, trying to get things set up with that. So, you know, definitely email list is part of building 
in that community because those are people that are going to come back and read what you have to say regularly, time and time again. You definitely want to be finding people who are potential customers. You know, we're talking about affiliate blogs and uh, monetized blogs. So if you're running a business, you need people that are willing to buy stuff. Uh, so one of the things I'm looking at is I'm networking with people that already have not just an email list, not just people that have a following. I'm looking for people that have proven buyers because those are the people I want in my community. I want people that have proven to spend money on personal development programs. I want people that have proven to spend money on their mindset training because these are people who will buy what I have to sell if I get it up online. Whether it's my own product or affiliate offers doesn't really matter at this point. It's building that community, building that list, and getting people interested in what I have to say. Um, so I'm just talking about it. I'm doing videos on YouTube. I've done three videos in the last four days uh, on YouTube. I've done some of them that are just live. Some of them are PowerPoint slideshows. I did my podcast earlier today for Live Show Media, and everything is about funneling people into that program. Um, I've even got an email already set up that's going to my list here at I Am Relations that's going to be you know, telling them why I think that the self-awareness is important. And um, I'll do another video about that later, but self-awareness is important on two levels in your business. One, as a business owner, Self-awareness is going to help you to understand yourself and where you're struggling with your business because 90% of the time when I'm coaching somebody in their business, I spend more time working on their mindset than I do anything else. The techniques aren't that hard. The, tech, the technical stuff you've got to do is actually pretty easy and effortless if you do it right. What's the hard part is getting your mindset right and doing the right things, making sure you're aligned with what you're supposed to be doing, getting everything uh working properly and choosing a niche the right way and doing all those things. You know, a lot of this stuff has to do with your mindset about your business and what you're doing and knowing why you're doing it. Um, so you have to understand as a business owner you know, this importance and I'll, I'll do a more in-depth discussion on that later. But then the other side of that, and this is also really important, is if you're building a business, one of the important things you've got to know when you're doing content marketing and relationship building is where your customers at in their own self-awareness and that's something that's going to be important because the products you promote are going to be different based on where your customers at are in their level of self-awareness the the way you market products is different depending upon where people are in their level of self-awareness because people are looking for different information at different stages of their own personal growth so you know understanding these principles is really important not only if you're involved in personal development not just for yourself but it will help you with your marketing with understanding your customers with understanding their needs and where they're at and what they want you to do What's that going to do? That's going to help you grow your community. If you start doing it right, and this is something I've experienced myself, if you're really doing it right, you're out there and you're engaging people and you're really doing everything you can to help people with what you're doing, your community is going to build itself. And this is the natural flow that Google's talked about for years that they want to see in SEO, which is that natural progression of people coming to your site people sharing your information with their friends, other bloggers sharing your site with their following. You, you can't fake that. And this is what so many people are doing. They're trying to teach you tricks and tactics to fake being able to do that. This isn't about being fake. It's about complete authenticity, being completely real with who you are and what your life is about and what your most important message to share with people is and putting it out there and sharing your personal experience and then you know engaging with people who are like-minded that are struggling with some of the same struggles you've been through that are uh, that you can understand you know one of the things I learned from my personal development training with Tony Robbins is you can't take somebody else to a place you've never been yourself you can't help people develop a level of awareness that you haven't developed within yourself. So you have to take this journey within yourself, and then you have to bring that journey to your community. In order to build that community, initially, what you really got to do is just hustle. Um, 
and this is one of the things I love a lot of what I've read from Gary Vaynerchuk, Crush It, uh, social, the a lot of his stuff about social media, and it's it's about just engagement and getting out there and hustling and getting out there and saying, hey, you need to come check out my blog. Hey, I want you to come read what I got. Hey, what can I do to help you with your blog? What can I do to help you with your business? And get out there and you know, just network with people, help people, connect with as many people as you possibly can. My friend Dr. Bob Clark over at uh, BobandRosemary.com told me. Uh, one time he says, you know, one of the things you need to do if you really want to build a community around your blog is you need to connect with 10 new people every single day. And that's something I've been taking to heart and that's something I've been working on a lot myself here lately is can I go out and connect with 10 new people every single day. It's not about self-promotion though. It's not about getting out there and saying, hey, come check out my blog. Hey, come read my blog. And if that's my first, you know, this is one of my things. I have a lot of people that connect with me on Facebook almost every day and what's the first thing most of them say hey come check out my article hey come check out my latest blog post hey comment on my blog and most of these people that's all they ever say to me is come check out what I've done come come promote me come promote me come promote me that's what they want me to do well what's in it for me that's the way I look at it what's in it for me to come promote you do I like what you have to read do I like what you have to share if I don't, I'm not going to share it with my people. I don't care how much you beg me to. And if your very first thing you ever say to me is come promote me, I'm already turned off. I'm already turned away, and I'm like, whatever. Get in the conversation. You know, when I've been building up this relationship with Adrian and Donna and Bob Clark and all these other people, I'm out there saying, you know what, here's some information I think is going to be helpful to you or your readers. You know, what can I do? You know, commenting on their posts, hey, that was really Really great I got this idea out of it or you know what this is something else that I've had there's a similar experience you know I'm getting in there and getting involved in the conversation it's not just hey come check out my blog hey come promote my stuff you know even though those, that's honestly what I want in the end is for those people to come and promote my stuff to share my blog post to you know engage with me maybe give me ideas on how I can do my blog better but my my main focus is what can I do to help them build their community? Because if I help them build their community, they are more likely, if they like what I have to say, going to help me build my community, which in the end is really what I want the most, is I want them to help me. Um, it's all about leverage. If you read some of the stuff I've been reading, writing lately, this is what Bending the Web is all about by Jack Humphreys. Uh, it's about getting out there, networking with people who are involved in your niche, who are more successful than you are, and getting them to promote your stuff for you. Uh, whether it's through guest posting or them tweeting your stuff or sharing it in social media. These web bending strategies is what Google's wanted all along for SEO. And the thing is, is if you're putting all your focus and effort in how do I improve search rankings, then your entire focus is on doing exactly what Google doesn't want you to do, which is manipulating search rankings. Instead, if you focus on how can I go out and build a community, how can I get people to my site, how can I get people to share my site with their readers, if you're focused on what you can do to drive direct traffic to your site and then get out there and build that community and build focus. You know, when I started this, I started these ideas of relationship marketing conversations. I started these conversations and I started this relationship marketing strategy using forums. Uh, I started it really with the Affilorama forum, which is one of my favorite internet marketing forums. But I started getting in there and I wasn't going in there to really build a brand or build my business. I was just going in there to help people, sharing my experiences, sharing what was and what wasn't working, sharing you know my frustrations and my failures and helping other people to ease theirs and helping people to understand that they're not alone. Um, sometimes my stuff was just on you know how to develop a better mindset rather than you know special tactics or techniques, although I've done a lot of those as well. So um, but it's just about getting out there and engaging people, helping other people. Because of that, I've got to be a, build a relationship with Mark and the staff there. And I've gotten a lot of benefit to my business because of the time I spent helping out 
the guys over there. And I didn't do it to get any of that stuff, but it naturally happened by me just going out and engaging their community. And a lot of their community is now part of my community because people from Rama come to my blog all the time. Uh, still, you know, it's been going for almost four years now. And to this day, Rama is still one of my top traffic sources to this blog. It always has been. And I don't spend hours and hours and hours. I used to years ago, back when I first started, I would spend more time on Rama than I would actually working on my own sites. Um, nowadays, I spend about five or six hours a week total in the forum helping people, answering questions, going back and forth, answering private messages. Um, and I've really had to limit my time because I'm so busy on my own business and doing my own things that I just don't have the time to commit to spending of that. But I still try to spend at least four or five hours a week. You know, and it may be 15 minutes here, 20 minutes there. But throughout the week, I spend about four or five hours a week in the forum still engaging and helping people, answering questions, uh, commenting on their blog, and doing things to keep myself engaged with the community. And I spend a lot of time, especially in the private forums for the paid products, like right? that's where I find the proven buyers. That's who I want coming to my site. I want those people that have already been proven to spend money. So I'm going into the Affiliate Jetpack forum. I'm going into the Affiliate Theme forum. I'm going into the Affiliate Blueprint forum. And I'm engaging the members in those forums and helping them answer their questions, sharing some of my experiences. And sometimes my experiences are different than Mark's. And we had some questions about that the other day. And sometimes the things that I do and the things that Mark do aren't the same. And that's okay. Uh, but I'm going in and just sharing what works for me, sharing my experiences and sharing what I'm doing to build my communities, sharing what I'm doing to build my email list and how I manage my email list and then, you know, just every little thing I do in my business and sharing these ideas freely. And, you know, I could say, you know what, I'm going to hold back because that, that, that would, you know, force them to, you know, come to me. But I'm really not going to do that. I mean, they paid for the product there. Those people really deserve to get the help that they need. And I found by, by giving more that I get more in return. So that's something that's it's contradictory to what most people are telling you. So many people are telling you to limit the information you share, put limitations on what you're going to give away. Um, and I don't. I think you have to have a balance. I think you need to pay attention and have this kind of tipping point. One of the areas I have with doing that is I freely share with my uh, subscribers and with the people that are in my community. I share every single tactic that I know. I share every single tactic for the systems and the strategy that I use that puts all those tactics together. That's where I recommend paid programs. That's where I pull them into a product. And by taking that approach, you can fill tons and tons of information. You can get lots of people engaged in your community because you're sharing information that other people are selling. Because so many of the products are focused on tactics out there. You give away that information. It builds trust. It builds more people. It gives more credibility. It gives something also that people can take action on which is a huge thing. If you're giving people something in your blog post and sharing with your email subscribers actionable information, something that they can actually take and take action on and actually see results, then when you do promote a product, they're more willing to say, hey, if this is what he's giving me for free, if he's asking for money, this must be even better. It's that mind game. And then when you go out and you sell a product or promote a product or you create your own product, then people are already ready to buy because they already trust you and they're already part of your community. So you need to get out there and start building your community. Just get out there, talk to people, network with people, and don't just focus online. If you're involved in something that can be looked at offline, look offline to find people that might be part of your community. Um, I've sent people that I know from my own life, friends, family, other people that I meet. You know, if I meet people, I chat with people in the grocery store. And you know what? If I get a feeling that they might 
be a fit for something I talk about, okay. give them a business card. You know, you gotta be create if you're running a business, create yourself some business cards with your website address on there or your email address so that you can contact them online. You know, take those offline contacts, get them into your online funnel and get those people to be part of your community. This is another trick that I've been using and I've been working on myself. And just you know, allow these things to happen and get people, you know, focus on the things that you can control. Uh, that's one of the biggest issues, and this is something that I've talked about in my self-awareness, is just defining and figuring out what you can and what you can't control. If it's dependent on the actions of another person, you can't control it. That's just a little bit of it. I mean, that's just a small piece of it, but that's one of the huge areas that so many people are focused so much on what other people do, on what's going on outside of themselves. Focus inward. Focus on what you can do. Focus on what you're shifting within yourself. And as you make these shifts, you're going to build a community, you're going to get more followers, and you're going to get a better reach. So I hope that these tips help, and I hope it's uh, been a great week for you. Things have been going really great for me. I got the case study coming up on Embracing Your Life Today, Dot com, and I'm going to be sharing more of what's going on there. I don't have any income sh sh stuff to show yet because I'm still working on my product. Um, so, But I'm going to be sh shooting another video as soon as I get this opt-in completed. I'll be shooting another video sharing some of the stats, showing what's going on, and um, giving you some more updates as we go as to what's going to happen with that site. So, Hope this helps. Have a great day. We'll see you next week. Make sure you check out the blog at IamRelations.com and have a great day.